Hey y'all, I just want to give you a quick overview of the new skin and changes that you're going to see in Google Classroom. If you don't already see these, you will be seeing them very, very soon. And the idea here is just giving Classroom kind of a, a new look and feel. So when you go into your class, you will still see the same essential content, um, the same updates that we got back in August of 2018, but it just has this new look and feel. So I don't want anyone to freak out that, oh, these are big changes. I got to learn something new. No, you're going to love this. There's really just two major changes to think about right now. So the first one in the stream, first of all, you're going to notice that new look and feel, right? We've got lots of white space, which I actually like. Um, if you didn't know this and you don't like this, you should know that there's a lot of research that supports the fact that um, lots of white space is actually a, a good best practice for web design. It's easier to read. It's easier to navigate. And even though we sometimes, you know, kind of get tired of white, um, there there is a reason behind it. And there's a reason why a lot of websites that you see have a lot of white space. So just keep that in mind. Um, a lot of times it's also more user friendly for those who have other types of, of accessibility issues that make it harder to read things on the screen when there are lots of other colors sort of competing. So um, it does help us stay focused. Now, here we are on the stream. We do still have a header. However, the, the big thing that they did with headers is not only sort of shrinking it down just into this little square, but if you go to select theme, there are now 78 new themes to choose from. Okay, so they've they've sort of organized these by subject area, which, you know, if you look at these, um, yeah, the, the science one in, in math is probably pretty close, but some of these could kind of go into any classroom, depending on what you teach. And then there's some sports headers, and there's even some that kind of fall other under. So maybe you've got a gamified classroom, there's a little gamification uh, one that you could use, and, and lots of choices. And they've changed it. Um, if you remember, the ones before were lots of patterns. And the reason for that is because the, the theme, it, it, the, the actual website inside Google Classroom is responsive, meaning it shrinks and expands depending on what screen you're on. And so you'll notice sort of that those patterns, or even when you just have sort of images over here that just appear to the side, they tend to look better as you shrink and expand. So if you've ever uploaded your own photo, you probably know this. So when you upload your own, sometimes they look a little bit wonky because they're stretching or they're moving. So, so that's just sort of some tips if you are creating um, patterns work well and things like these um, where they kind of just put one big image on the side where it's okay if sometimes, you know, pieces are cut off and things like that. So so just keep that in mind because it's going to look very different when I open this up on my phone as well. Now, you will also see there's an arrow here and that's just going to give you a drop down on the information for the class. Okay, um, so that's, that's a little bit new there as well. Now we still have our class code right here and we can click on these squares here to do a full screen display. All of our stream notifications are the same. We we do have the three dots to edit or copy the link, but if you remember the new way the stream works, it is in reverse chronological order, meaning the newest is on the top. And so that is still true and we cannot change that, although people are still asking for that ability. The other new thing that I want you to know about is in the classwork page. So again, new look and feel, but everything's pretty much in the same place. It just has a, a white background, right? Create button is still here. Everything under create is still the same, okay? Um, there's still a link to your Google Calendar and there's still a link to your Google Drive folder. However, the big thing that everybody has been begging for is the ability to click and drag to move your topics and assignments around in the order that you want because that whole three dots move up move down thing is a pain when you have a ton of assignments right so 
um, for instance, you can click and drag just assignments, or you can click and drag the entire topic and move it around, okay? So that's totally up to you. Um, but easy peasy, um, this actually appeared in the mobile app first. So if you haven't been using the mobile app, you can also do it there. The, the other thing I want to mention is um, you may just notice how I'm organizing my assignments here. And I have a ton of free Google Classroom resources on shakeuplearning.com. And one of those has the five most common ways to organize your assignments and classwork. So um, you may want to visit the site to learn more about that. And again, you can just go to googleclassroom.com and click on the resources and you'll see Google Classroom resources and you'll see everything I have there for you that has to do with Google Classroom. Now, um, people tab, still there, still the same functionality here. Um, adding co-teachers and um, seeing our student roster as well as the ability to email guardians if that has been enabled in your domain. So same things, new look and feel. Really, that's that's the big thing. Um, so we got two two major changes um, within the new look and feel, and that was the way the header works and the click and drag feature of Google um, your your Google class assignments and topics inside the classwork page. So I hope this gives everyone just that quick overview that you need to see what has changed, and I hope to see you on ShakeUpLearning.com.